Hello, I'm Martin Brisson. Welcome again to this uh, little weekly vlog. I will have to find a, a better uh, word for it. Um, and today I want to talk about sadness because we hear a lot about it, especially with COVID. Lots of people are going to be uh, alone at Christmas and uh, or remember people that uh, have passed due to uh, COVID or whatever else. No, people die every day. Um, and some for some people, Christmas is kind of a, uh, a sad, uh, a sad time. Sadness, really. It's a thought that we're having by when we lost, uh, we lost someone, or we lost something. Uh, it's uh, we have sadness when we think about the past, the good old days, maybe, uh, or maybe about a future that will never come. In the future that will never would be, will never happen. And that causes sadness. And sadness is kind of, it's normal to feel sadness, no? Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. We're, 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 we're human. That's the way we, we <laughs> design. Okay? And sometimes we, we hurt. But I think sadness, like anything else, is not permanent. You don't need to resist the feeling because you just end up hurting yourself even more. You're going to, to suffer for even longer. And even in the day, let's say in the, the first six weeks, apparently there's uh, lots of reorganization uh, at the same time uh, uh, with grief. And even in that intense few weeks, Moods go up and down. They go just up and down. Some, someone will tell a joke and you laugh. No, you'll be snapped out of it momentarily. Just let it go through you. Like I said, there's nothing we can do about that. It's part of being a human being, being the, the human existence. But the suffering comes in resisting or thinking that things should be uh, different, or thinking that there's something wrong with you. Sadness comes from or thinking, those thinking, those sad thoughts. It will pass like everything else, so there's no need to judge. Um, there's no need to wallow in it, don't go down the rabbit hole and uh, carry on that path. It just goes through us. And nothing is permanent. But but you may not feel that way when you're in the midst of it, right? Um, well you're hurting. Those memories are just thoughts stored in our subconscious mind. So there's no, no techniques, no uh, strategies uh, involved, or coping. Oh, yes, I have to cope, right? But coping is only a band-aid. It's only a temporary one. No, I see people that tried, uh, oh, well, I'll take a bath or a yoga or whatever. Even myself, when my son died, I, I took a guitar lesson, uh, a university course in com communication, and learned Tai Chi. All in the effort to, no, uh, to, 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 oh, and the gym, don't forget the gym. Uh, with all my frustration on those machines uh, uh, on the gym, which was a good thing uh, in retrospect. But when we just let it go through us, that nothing is permanent. Don't need a band aid. We're well made, actually. Let's say that. Now it's Christmas, right? And lots of people are baking cookies. It's a lots of a tradition of baking cookies. But let's say that you have a burnt cookie. Just putting icing on it, still a burnt cookie, right? Ah, but the good thing is this, that we have a kitchen. So we can make a brand new batch of cookies. That means that you feel a thought. But those thoughts 
come and go moment to moment. No, we have 60,000 to 70,000 thoughts per day. So those things come up and go. The kitchen still making new cookies, new tops all the time. But if you get attached to that sad feeling, carry on by bringing those thoughts, you just end up hurting yourself. So yes, sad feelings come and go. We're human. But you don't have to eat your burnt cookies. So obviously we don't hurt ourselves on purpose. But when we know where our experiences is coming from, when we know that our experience is coming from inside of us, nothing to do. A batch of cookies is coming up. And we cannot prevent shit to happen. <laughs> no, we have no control of that. But the thing is that, that we are fully equipped to deal with it. Knowing that it's not about you, just neural activities, uh, neural system. So yes, you feel sad. Or even feel bad, no? Any kind of feeling, you sure bet that your thinking is 100% behind it all the time. But you don't have to judge it. You don't have to cope with it. Pass. Get attached to the content. Don't get attached to the, the detail. Oh, you just to go down the rabbit hole, just suffering for even longer. We're made. No, we, we're, we're well made. We are made with this innate resilience. That's, that's, a, that's a, a good thing in the design. So that's all I have to uh, tell you today. I might or might not see you uh, next week. I haven't decided that. And then I, I'll take a couple of weeks off for, uh, for, the, uh, for the holidays. So until next time, uh, if I don't see you the next week, happy holidays. Cheers.